some breaking news. Andrew Wiggins and Jordan Poole have both signed four years extensions. So both of these guys are going to be with the Warriors for the next four years. Wiggins got four years, 109 million, and Jordan Poole got four years, 140 million. Um, so basically, Andrew Wiggins is tied down uh, for a total of five years, 143 million per Woj. Uh, Jordan Poole, he's going to be with the team for, you know, th th basically this entire team is what we're going to get for the next four years, which I think is really good, really entertaining, really interesting. But this really brings up a very big question. What does this mean for Draymond Green? Draymond Green has not had a contract offered to him. Uh, they are struggling there. Draymond Green, in my opinion, is not worth the money that he wants. I don't think there's a team in the league that will pay him the money he wants. You could make the argument that Draymond for the Warriors might be worth that money, but their tax bill would be $513 million if all of these guys are signed to max deals like they're at. $513 million in just the tax, which would be the highest in league history, It is which the Warriors had the highest already uh, back with Kevin Durant and all of them, and this would be essentially three times that amount, a little more than that, uh, which would be absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. And I think if you're the Warriors, and I may be wrong, this is just my opinion, but I think the Warriors made their decision. I think... Andrew Wiggins, and I've said this, I think Andrew Wiggins is more valuable and more important than Draymond Green at this point at Andrew Wiggins' career. He's a guy that can go and get you 25 points if you need him to, but he's okay if he doesn't. But he can also guard the best player on the other team. He can create his own shots. He's gotten more physical. He's he's everything this Warriors team needs. And Draymond, skill set-wise, is not what he once was. Um, the whole persona... I think has really just worn these guys down. I think that they have Kaminga and they have Wiseman and they have Moody and now they have Poole and the other three guys they're going to have to pay as sooner or later, right? So I think Draymond Green is the odd man out here. I really do. I think Draymond is going to end up not making it and he's going to end up, you know, this this very well could be the last year for Draymond Green. Stephen A. Smith and many others have said that this is going to be his last year, that after this year he's leaving, uh, which very well could be the case. Um, now, granted, he could opt in and they keep him around for a while, but I just, I don't think, I don't think the Warriors are going to extend him. I don't think the Warriors, not for the money that he wants. Now, if he takes, you know, a, a significant pay cut, I think the Warriors would give him the money. Like, if he wanted, like, Four, 15 million a year. I think they would give him that. Um, maybe even 20 million a year because it's the Warriors. I don't think he's going to get 20 million a year anywhere else. I mean, maybe a team like Detroit would give him 20 million uh, just because, you know, Detroit might look at it as like, hey, he's, he's a guy that we could use, we could bring on, uh, he'd be good for the young guys. But after what he just did to Jordan Poole, who's a young guy, is that an example you want in the locker room? I don't know. It's interesting. Um, I, I just think Draymond Green. He might be his time with the Warriors might be coming to an end, and I'm curious to see where he ends up, where he lands, and because I don't think he's, I think he's very important and valuable to the Warriors, but I don't know if he would be that same importance, significance, and value to like another team, you know, like uh, like you know the rumor is he wants to go to Lakers, he wants to go play with LeBron. If that's true, let's say that is the case, I don't th I don't know how effective he would be on the Lakers. I don't know if him, Anthony Davis, and LeBron would be a great pairing. Um, you know, most teams, I don't think he'd be a great pairing on. I think, I'm not saying he's a bad player or anything. I just think that he's in the perfect situation, perfect system, perfect, you know, cast around him and everything, that he's able to thrive in ways that he's not going to be able to thrive on other teams. And I just, I think the, the Warriors, they made their decision. They took, you know, Jordan Poole and Andrew Wiggins, which they should have. I mean, Jordan Poole is your young, up-and-coming guy uh, who's just been tremendous for you. Uh, he has had his moments. He's very hot and cold still. I mean, they literally had to, like, pull him out of games during this playoff run. And when he's not making buckets, he's kind of unplayable. But he's young. He's only going to improve. He's only going to get better uh, as time goes on. Uh, Andrew Wiggins, again, in my opinion, I think Andrew Wiggins is arguably, next to Steph, the most important piece on this team. Just because of everything that Wiggins provides and offers, I think is so invaluable for this team. Um, 
And I just, I think that, like, I think Draymond Green has kind of just edged himself out. I don't think he's as valuable to the Warriors as he once was. I think they have more than enough. Uh, you know, he's he's missed ample games, especially this past season and stuff, and the Warriors were fine without him. The Warriors were still able to run the offense and do everything that they need to do. I just, I think however you shake it, I just, I think that the Warriors kind of made their decision. Um, but, not going to lie, I mean, you never know. Maybe maybe they do. Maybe they do end up extending Draymond. Maybe today we'll get an, uh, an announcement. Because, I mean, the the Jordan Poole came this morning. Wiggins just came in. Um, so, you know, maybe that's that's something. Um, but in reality, I just, I, I, I just, I don't think they're going to do that. I don't think they're going to extend him. I don't think that they want to pay him the money that he's worth. I don't think uh, he's, I think the Warriors look at it the same way I do, of like Draymond's skill set isn't what it once was. He's only getting older. He's not as integral to the team that we have. I think it's just all of those things. Like he, he used to be a very key cog. He used to be a huge integral part of this team, of this organization. And I, I really think that they would be okay without him. And I think they made the right decision, keeping Andrew Wiggins and locking him up long term and Jordan Poole. I really do. I think that that was huge for the Warriors. Now you don't have to run the risk because I think there's a lot of teams that would be more than happy to sign Wiggins, more than happy to keep Wiggins long term. And he was arguably their second best player. In my opinion, he was their second best player this entire playoff series. And I mean, so much so people were saying that he should have gotten co MVP. So I just I think and I think he you, if they would have done that, I think he would have deserved it. I really do. I think he is a really big piece. For this team, I think he is arguably the second most important piece on this team. And I just, I don't know if the Warriors want to pay half a billion dollars in tax every year. Like, they'd literally be, they'd be paying an insane amount of money in tax every year. You know, you're talking almost $700 million total after all is said and done. It's just, that's insane. For a team that, like, you know, like, this isn't Kevin Dur- This team isn't Kevin Durant on the Warriors, where it's like, as long as they're healthy, they're n- nobody's beating them. You know, like, the Warriors are still beatable. They're still absolutely beatable. Like, I wouldn't be shocked that the Warriors never won another championship in the Steph and Clay era. Like, I wouldn't. I, I was, but in the same breath, I wouldn't be surprised if they won, you know, the next two or three. I, I just, I mean, the Warriors are the Warriors. But I don't think this team is Kevin Durant Warriors. I don't think they're unbeatable. Um, but I do think that they are really good, and I do think that this was the right move, the right decision. And the Warriors have so many young guys that they could, you know, use and use the leverage in a trade if they need to. Um, even Jordan Poole, like if Jordan Poole kind of becomes redundant, then they can they can always just move him. You know, and I just regardless, I think the the Warriors have options, which is always a good thing to have. Um, but Anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. What do you think of Jordan Poole and Andrew Wiggins getting uh, some extensions? Do you think it was the right move? Do you think it's not? Uh, Do you think that they deserved it? Do you think it's not? Um, Also, Draymond. What is your thoughts on Draymond? Do you think Draymond Green, like, this is it? Like, this is, they made their decision that the the Warriors aren't going to pay $500 million in in luxury tax? That, uh, you know, that that's not going to happen. Draymond Green's time is done with the Warriors. The, the Warriors, I just don't think they need Draymond anymore like they once did. They really used to need him, and he used to be such a huge factor on this team. But I just think that the players that they got, the, the type of team that they got now, Draymond isn't as valuable or important as he used to be. And look, the Warriors, regardless, are going to have to make tough decisions sooner or later. You know, so you got you to gotta make a tough decision. I think Draymond is just the odd man out here. Just my thoughts, just my opinion. Uh, you know, again, however you feel, good, bad, ugly, somewhere in between, let me know yours down in the comment section below. Quick little shameless plug, go subscribe to my second channel, link down in the description below as it stands Lakers. I am a diehard Laker fan. I love talking Lakers. I could talk Lakers all day, just like I could talk about all sports all day. And I'm sure many of you watching to this point enjoy my commentary, enjoy these discussions. So go check out the Lakers channel. Even if you're not a Laker fan and you just like hearing me talk about stuff and basketball, go over there and subscribe. I'll link down in the description below. I promise you won't be disappointed. That being said, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow by the bell notification. Stay up to date with all things sports. Join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.